Did You Know? Brought to you by the all new Kia Cadenza. In the summer of 2012, Mostport hosted the Canadian stop for the Pirelli World Challenge. The event features many familiar nameplates, but this race saw a new kid on the starting grid with two Kia Optimas. Well, this is our first year in the Pirelli World Challenge, and this is a step up for us. We've been running in the uh, Grand Am Continental Tire Sports Car Challenge with our Forte Coupes and doing very well. We actually won the championship there last year, and that was only our second year of any kind of racing. Uh, so this is our first year here. We're moving up in, in a class to GTS and World Challenge, and the Optimas are doing really well. One year later, it was Toronto, and Kia was back. Kia getting involved in racing seemed like a natural choice. The Kia brand is uh, youthful, it's energetic, it's a challenger brand. We've actually been involved in racing in Canada as far back as 2002. And to uh, see these vehicles demonstrate their capabilities, endurance, uh, reliability and quality uh, speaks volume about the, uh, the Kia brand. Well, I think it's a huge credit to a company that builds enough performance into their car that the same car that a consumer can buy can basically be altered for the track. And uh, they're on the track going up against Porsche Caymans and, and Camaros, and, and they're competitive. Yeah, well, it's just before 11 o'clock in the morning. We're coming up on the uh, Toronto Indy race here, and you can never get too fancy with food before a race. So the goal is something that sticks, you know, so peanut butter sandwich, as simple as it gets, and uh, as good as it gets, in my opinion. It's uh, it's good. It always works. So, you know, hey, if it works, you got to stick with it. We're starting P6, so uh, we got a little bit of work to do, but, you know, this Optima's been strong all year, you know, second in the points and uh, four podiums and a win in Detroit. So we know this car is strong. Um, we tend to run less laps in qualifying than some of our competitors. The car's a little harder on tires. So we save the tires for the race so we can race hard and bring it to the front when it counts. We need a little bit of luck, but I've got the motoring keychain here, which is which at most sport last year, our first win, keychain in hand. So looking forward to a great race today. It's quiet now. Absolutely. This is the calm before the storm. So we're looking forward to it. The guys should have a really good race today. I think the cars are very strong and uh, we have the advantage of uh, having a Canadian driver on home turf. So really looking forward to it. Good luck. Um, Thank I you very much. Thank you. One lap to go. Mark is sitting third, holding off a Porsche Cayman S and the crew senses a podium finish in front of the hometown crowd. Gearbox again! See if you can select the gearbox, just see if you can get anything to cruise back round or just try and select the gear and finish the race. It is done, totally done. Gearbox again. But then, the unthinkable. With a half lap to go, Mark is out of the race. Not sure what happened, we'll have to take a look and see, but we just lost all drive. Um, and it was just a bummer last lap. Uh, you know, looked like we were going to be uh, in good shape for a, a podium or at least a top five. So uh, it was a tough one for us today. I mean, this car has been just rock solid all year long. And, you know, uh, we'll come back. We'll be good. Uh, we'll, go, we'll get the car all sorted out. We'll figure it out. We'll go to Mid-Ohio nice and strong. And we'll race hard to the end. At the end of the next race at Mid-Ohio, it would be Mark and his Optima Turbo bouncing back with a victory. Well, you know the old phrase, win on Sunday, sell on Monday. There is some truth to that. I mean, to see these vehicles performing so well definitely does inject a certain amount of inspiration and excitement uh, into these vehicles, which actually turn them into aspirational vehicles and puts Kia uh, more and more on the consideration list.